uh, for taking up SB 219 today. Um, what this bill does, this bill protects children. Uh, I know that's one of our most important jobs as lawmakers, legislators, parents, but it doesn't matter how small a group that, that group of children is, it is our job to protect them. I was shocked to learn that we currently have uh, doctors administrating <clears throat> hormone blockers, cross therapy drugs in the state of Alabama to perfectly healthy children. They have no disease, they have nothing physically wrong with them. Okay? So you should not be given a drug, in my opinion, humble opinion. And we're going to hear from others. We've got doctors on the committee. I'm sure they'll have an opinion. But uh, right now, we do not know of any surgeries. It also prohibits surgeries to remove perfectly healthy body parts or to alter those. Uh, we don't know that that's going on in Alabama. It is going on across the country. I don't ever think that should go on in Alabama, so this, this law will prohibit that if it's passed. Uh, uh, Last I checked, puberty is not a disease. Uh, I think we all went through that at one time. Some of us, it was probably rougher than others, right, Senator Nelson? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but last I checked, it's not a disease. It can be a confusing time, but hopefully most of us don't think the same way we did when we were 14. I know I don't. Uh, I wanted to be a professional athlete. Boy, I didn't come close. Uh, you know, so, uh, but... This, what this bill does, it does not keep anybody from transitioning later on in life if they want to do that, or if they want to socially transition at 13, dress however they want to, it does not, does not in any way affect that. It just keeps them from receiving harmful drugs that could stop their natural development, uh, that could have irreversible long-term consequences. Um, the facts state that 90% of kids that go through this gender dysphoria grow out of it. They, 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 they just naturally move on later in life. So uh, with that, I, I want to get to the more interesting speakers, and I'll be gladly answer any questions that I can later, but I'm sure you all would rather hear from them. Thank you, Senator Sheldon.